We're going to pick up uh, Christine, our, our friend. She's arriving by bus today. I'm glad we're doing something physical. <laughs> it takes a good 20 minutes to walk to the bus station, mostly uphill. Not a big workout, but it was good to get out of the harbor for a change. Of course, the bus was nowhere to be seen for another 30 minutes. Spain is not Switzerland. Schedules are more guidelines than actual rules. So, Fu and I had time for some serious talks. Your man beard. I like it, it's fluffy. There are still some small parts missing, but um, yeah, I really like it. It's like uh, the first real summer day. It's so nice, it's so nice. It's warm as hell. Yeah. It is. Tomorrow we're supposed to get 24 degrees Celsius. And today? Uh, 19. But I guess it's already, it's already uh, warmer than 19 degrees. But tomorrow is 24 in, in the forecast and light winds maybe up to 12 13 knots it will be perfect sailing weather yeah absolutely we can anchor The backpack Christine brought was pre-packed by us and included a new main halyard and topping lift. It was the plan all along for food to go up the mast to do the changes while I had a second hand and help with securing him. But welcome drinks first. What are we up here? Um, we realized this morning that we have two very bad cuts in our topping line. So we had to buy a new one just Topping to be lift. safe. Topping lift. Bad, yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad. After a short briefing on the basics of rock climbing, we said our goodbyes and up he went. Also great opportunity for some girl time. Nobody will ever find out what we talked about, ever. The job was so much easier than expected. We now do this for fun and as a daily workout. Heading into town for pizza and drinks and pizza and drinks. Yes, that's right. We spent a fair amount of the weekend drinking good wine, eating out and strolling around St. Carl's, with Christine as the perfect addition to the crew. Because of her work, she's an expert in wines and she herself is sailing for quite some time and knows her way around boats. Hey guys, what's up? Um, the girls are out. They went to town to get some stuff. Even though it's Sunday, I'm just realizing. <laughs> Maybe just they, they just wanted to get away from me for a while. <laughs> we have a problem with our tramps. Um, the, the thread that goes around it, I don't know exactly how it's, how it's called. But um, that thread that holds the net in place is uh, on one side, it's broken. Let me show you guys. So um, that's what happened. And this edge here, this is the problem. This is what's what's causing the damage, to be honest. Here you can see it very good. See? More boat work for food. Sadly, the weekend was over so fast and Christine had to go back to Barcelona to catch her flight. 
We would love to have her back on board anytime. We received the Dyneema that we ordered to fix the tramps. We fiddled around with it in the morning and it actually was easier to fix than expected. Yeah, well that was easy. That was easy and it's so nice to work. We used the old garden hose as an edge protection. Maybe we find something more suitable color-wise in the near future. With a very sunny day ahead of us, we went for another sail around St. Carl's. We anchored at the nearby lagoon to have some lunch. Everything was so relaxed and there was no wind and with a flat sea we quickly decided to not go back to the harbour and stay for the night at anchor for our very first time. We are going for a little adventure with our dinghy at the Bimpf E. Dinghy ride! Sweetness. I loaded the dinghy already, so you get in. Yeah, give me one sec, <laughs> I have to put away the trash. Good. A considerable part of the delta is a natural reserve and gives rise to an extremely high biological and botanical diversity and, above all, a huge variety of bird life. We found all kind of useful stuff to start building a dream catcher for Koru. So how do you like our first uh, dinghy adventure? I really like it. Huh? It's so calm and nice and nobody's around. And doesn't it remind you a little bit of like northern Germany? I like that place too. I like the fact that it never really got dark in summer. Toad just found this thing. It looks like a handle of, of, of some shovel or I don't know. And it's, uh, it's funny because, I mean, it could just be from a recent time period or I don't know. But the fact that the, the peg here or the, the nail or the screw, whatever, is made out of wood as well. So, um, that is so cool. Mm, could be old, could be just rotten and I don't know. But I, I like the fact, you know, like back in the days when they when they built wooden ships, they also only used like those wooden to join to join uh, the rafters and whatnot. They only used wood. That's super cool. Maybe it's from a little pirate ship. Maybe, maybe it's a piece of a wooden uh, leg. <laughs> I don't uh, know. And we're drifting. <laughs> Yeah, we're watching black sails right now, so my fantasy's going crazy. 
Man, we're looking forward to leave. We're so done with the marina. Yeah, but not done in a bad way. I mean, no, it was no. a nice marina. Absolutely. What? It was a great marina. We enjoyed our stay here. It's beautiful, but for us now, it's time to go out into the wild. Into the wild. <laughs> Start the adventure. Yeah. We're super excited. So, we're basically just waiting until the marina office and the chandlery opens up uh, so we can pay our bills and get the heck out of here. In a few minutes we will leave the harbor of San Carlos Marina and sail away. Fu is preparing. It's just a really really short sail but um, I just want to you know check everything, check the plotter if everything is accurate. So um, we're writing down a few waypoints. Exactly how we learned it in our course we did last year. It felt good to be on our way and to really start our adventure. It's so cool to learn how coral works and to improve our sailing skills. So uh, we took off and uh, when we slipped the lines we probably uh, slipped the wrong ones first <laughs> because we had wind from ahead and we loosened the bow lines first because we always did it like this, you know. I um, guess we never had like uh, wind from straight ahead. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit hectic, <laughs> but uh, we're all good, everything's fine. Uh, seems like a very nice day to go out. First we go for a little sail, try everything out, and then we're looking for a, for a nice anchorage for the night. And um, yeah, anchor out. So uh, Ria is um, driving us out of the channel and uh, there's only two more buoys to pass and then we're in safe waters and then we're gonna like raise our main for the first time alone and uh, yeah see how that goes i know it's gonna be great you what i know it's gonna be great with the skipper like that <laughs> and with you doing all the hard work yeah sweating winching granting We made our way down south to a little place called Peniscola with an absolute beautiful coastal overlooking the sea. The earliest evidence of habitation in this area date to the 1st and 2nd centuries before Christ. There are no detailed descriptions of the coastal before the 13th century, but it is known that James II of Aragon gave the coastal to the Templars in 1294. How cool is that? After we made sure the anchor dug in nicely, it was time to hit the beach bar for a mooring schnapps. Oh, I have no shoes. You have no shoes. Maybe we need shoes. Just had a nice drink at this little restaurant. Move nice up. music. Move up, move it was up. really cool. And now we are heading back to Coru. I'm the captain of Bimfi. <laughs> okay. Now 
We still haven't agreed to, to no. the name. It's not up for discussion. It's not. Since nobody else around had started their sailing season yet, it was a bit awkward to leave the beach in our dinghy. People just staring at us, wondering where we was going. We're uh, in Buriana. This is where we first saw Koru. We flew down here, Ria's mom, Maria and I. Well, we flew to Valencia and then drove up to Buriana to see Koru. And it was just a couple of docks further down. Um, yeah, where we uh, looked at her, test sailed her and uh, eventually bought her. So. We were sailing by yesterday and thought we're gonna stop and uh, go and have a look at Buriana. Buriana was a fun place and much bigger than we remembered. Due to bad weather coming from Valencia, we decided to end our shakedown cruise and head back north for a few final repairs on Coru. The winds were in our favor and we had a fantastic sail back to St. Carl's. We are truly ready now to leave our safe harbor and head out into the wide open sea of the Mediterranean and, best of all, take you guys with us.